Hey everybody, Dr. Nelson here. Uh, this is a video about identifying right triangles. So we're going to do a couple problems together, and then you have a chance to try a problem on your own, and at the end you can see how you did. All right? So how do you know if a triangle is exactly a right triangle? Well, it has to follow the rules of the Pythagorean Theorem. So remember, the theorem states that a squared plus b squared has to equal c squared. All right, so let's write that down for both examples. So a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So it's just a matter of just plugging in the values to see if they equal each other. So let's first identify what our a, b, and c is going to be. So, so remember, the c value always has to be the hypotenuse, which is the longest side. So here we have 6, 8, and 10. So 10 is the longest side, so that is going to be the c value, which means I'm going to now have this be the a value and then 8 will be the b value. So uh, it's going to be 6 squared plus 8 squared has to equal 10 squared. Now let's simplify. So uh, 6 squared is 36 plus 8 squared is 64 equals 100. And 36 plus 64 is indeed 100. So because 100 equals 100, I know for a fact that this, yes, is a right triangle. Let's now take a look at the second example. Here we have side lengths 4, 9, and 6 inches. So again, the longest side has to be um, the C value. So here we have 4, 9, and 6. So the 9 is going to be the C. So then I'm going to have the A be the 4 and the B be the 6. So it's going to be 4 squared plus 6 squared equals 9 squared. So 4 squared is 16, plus 6 squared is 36, equals 81. And 16 plus 36, I know is 52. And 52 does not equal 81. So what that means is that these are not the dimensions of a right triangle. So this is a big no. All right, so to determine if a triangle is indeed a right triangle, you plug in the values for a, b, and c, and if the, the squares of a squared plus b squared added together equal c squared, you know that is definitely a right triangle. So why don't you pause the video and try the your turns problem now, and when you're done, hit play, you can see how you did. All right, good luck. All right, welcome back. Let's say you do this practice problem. So the objective is to determine if this indeed are the dimensions of a right triangle. So let's first write down the theorem. So a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Now let's identify the sides. So again, I know the longest side has to be the c side, right? So uh, 13 is going to be the c, which I'll call 12 the b, and then 5 will be the a. So uh, 5 squared plus 12 squared has to equal 13 squared and that's going to be 25 plus 144 equals 169 and 25 plus 144 is indeed 169 so because 169 equals 169 yes this is absolutely a right triangle alright how'd you do